Hey YouTube, I recently got invited down to Zavala, Texas to none other than the world headquarters for Ken Smith Fishing. He invited me down to fish an Outlaw Outdoors Blue Santa Open Tournament. I hadn't been to Rayburn since maybe Memorial Day weekend where I went down with my son and did some fishing. This was a great opportunity for me to go down, see Sam Rayburn, but also spend some time with Ken Smith. He's an incredible fisherman. He's got a tremendous amount of knowledge on Sam Rayburn, but we went down there with the sole purpose of having fun. Of course, we wanted to win. It's only about two hours and 15 minutes from my house here in Van, Texas. This is gonna be some of the footage from our day on the water and some of the things we got to talk about. We talked about everything from Bigfoot to a tournament mindset. So I hope you like it. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and um, I want to also make sure that you guys go over to Ken Smith Fishing, check out his stuff. He's also going to post his point of view of that day and some different things that we talked about. I was able to spend a, a great day on the water. The weather was perfect for a cold November day and um, just had a great time with him. I want to thank him and his wife for putting up with me and, and for inviting me down to the world headquarters. Oh, yeah. We are featuring uh, Net by Nobody today. <laughs> um, I have a really, really nice, expensive net hanging in the boat barn that James should have seen. I mean, James walked right by it. I don't know why he didn't notice. He'd never been in my boat barn before. You think he would have noticed that I have a nice net hanging there, but he didn't. So, net thing's a cool idea. We should have one. We should. I, I actually have a nice ego net at, at my house as well. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I sure did. That did. Boy, that stunk. I don't think they're liking a jig. All right, I got to put another Carolina rig on on that note. Oh, that's a good one. Y'all see how bad that fish want to be on camera? <laughs> He's right on cue. Man. Not on the bottom that they don't want that jig. Mm-hmm. Marco! <laughs> <laughs> he answered. <laughs> Someone did answer? I didn't hear it. That's awesome. There you go. And Whammo. But that's number five though. No? Looks like number five. All right, honey, let's, 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 do, let's measure you for a Oh, yeah, that's number five. Oh, oh, Bingo. Good job, Ken. So here's a question. For people that come to Sam Rayburn, what do you think in their, is the biggest problem for them in locating fish? Other than its sheer size. I mean, like, is there is there an approach to the lake that if people knew, hey, you know, this is more, this is a better way to look at it as a whole. Is there something that you would suggest? For the average person, the average fisherman, not a good tournament fisherman, it's that they want to beat the banks. You know, it's not unusual here. There, there is a tournament here every weekend, right? right. Most weekends there's multiples. And now you throw on top of it Southeast Texas High School, that's four and five hundred boats. Okay? So... It has completely repositioned the fish. They just don't go up on the bank right now. Now they will when it gets flooded. So what happens is we catch a ton of our fish where their boats sit. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, just that that little bit deeper. So I think that. Oh, you can still catch them. I just broke off again. What you but everything on a bite? Yeah, like everything. You're, you're going in timeout. I need three minutes of timeout back there. <sighs> Nicking your line up? Is it nicked up at all? I mean, I just picked up on it, and one was swimming with it. And I set the hook, and he started cutting off to the left, and then yeah. it just sawed off. Like, I've just broken off twice. Like, I just never break off. Like, I never break off. <laughs> That's a bummer. Because it just loaded up and started... 
heading off to deeper. What you want to have happen. Right. I, I, I'm th I was thinking that was a good one. That was just weird how it just, it, like it, it honestly felt like it just, someone just cut my line. Like it ran off and just snipped. You know, one of the things I've really become a big believer in with rigs is I used to think it's a I can use. Really? I think it, I think you get better knot strength on it. Oh, well, that makes sense. I just, I think I break less off because it's, you know, it's around a bigger piece of metal. Uh -huh. That makes sense. It, we hope y'all are moving because if not, we're drifting. Uh, we're, we're getting around you. All right. No, no we're, we're just trying to figure out where we are. Yeah, <laughs> we're pretty sure we're throwing the right direction, but we're not totally sure. I hear you. <laughs> One. That's a fatty. Do you think he'll, uh, yeah, take that yellow one out? Okay. What in the world? It, no, it was like, and then I, I reeled down to like see if it was there. He wasn't there. Oh, he is there. Golly. <laughs> it just kept. <laughs> I'm just thinking that maybe. <laughs> was weird. Was I, I reeled down to him and I could not find him. <laughs> oh, that's a better one. Is it? Is this the no net deal? Is this where we're wishing we're we had a net? <laughs> that is so pretty. You know when you see them down Yeah, there, flashing like that. I, I love it. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that'll help. We're going to We're going to James's camera cuz I ran out of juice. Man, the fish. There there has to be zillions of those size of fish in this oh lake. My gosh. Well, and you think about it, we've had a couple of springs of high water. I mean, that's probably a three-year-old fish, but you know, we've had unbelievable spots the last couple of years. Does it look like that one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, no, that's highly technical culling right there. That's right. Ounces are real valuable yes. here. <laughs> we didn't just cost ourselves money right there at all. Like a little idol. That's a large mouth. How deep is it? Oh wow, shallow. Yeah, that'll work. Nice. That loose rod is so sensitive, I felt him smell it and hooked him. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> That's a nice little fish. Yeah, that'll help. That fish absolutely railed it. Oh. That'll help us. Oh, there we go. Oh, that feels better. Shoulders? It's either that or I got two. No. I mean, he slacklined it. Yeah, they're, just, they're piled up right there. Slacklined. Uh, yeah, what, what's going on over there? They shut down. Oh, it, I spoke too soon. <laughs> not what we want. All right, so you got to share with your viewers. Oh, golly, I got drilled right there. What you shared with me. So we were talking about confidence. And you told a story. Yeah, we talked about how much of this game is actually mental. And one of the, probably one of the best stories that I've heard was from Jeff Creed about Kevin Van Dam. Squirrel! Sorry. <laughs> One of the best anglers of all time, obviously. If not the best. You gotta be the best. You gotta be the best. Yeah. And we I were, mean, I'm not saying anything about you, but he's Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I think I think maybe I appreciate that. Yeah. Well good lord. Get him! I'm telling you. Oh golly, I just got drilled right there. 
hard to tell a story. It, it is hard to tell a story. <laughs> and uh, basically, we were at uh, Table Rock. No, no, we were not. We were at Bull Shoals Ugh. for an Elite Series event. And it was the first day of the tournament, and Kevin didn't catch him, which is not normal. And Jeff Crete said that he said it blew him away how Kevin was in amazement. Not mad. Not not mad, but just in amazement. He could not believe. Oh, there you go. Oh, he come off. Uh, he couldn't believe that he didn't catch him. It's because he's got, he's, he just had so much confidence and has so much confidence. Whoa, that guy came off. Ah, oh, broken hook. But yeah, Kevin was so blown away that he didn't catch him. Like some people may think when they go out, oh, I hope I catch him. I hope I catch him. Right, he, he has the he has the belief that he's gonna catch him so much to the point that when he doesn't, he's in total disbelief. And that's just that's just the, the whole confidence factor that's that's so important in this game. You really gotta believe that when you put the boat in the water that something's gonna happen and it's gonna be something good and you're gonna catch fish. And that tournament set up so it was Clear oh, water. It was. It was clear water, pre-spawn. He was set up to catch him on, on a jerkbait, which is how he's won lots and lots of money. It, it just, everything was set up just right, clear water. There was some ripples, some wind on the water, which would have made his jerkbait bite even better. And he just didn't catch him, and he was in total disbelief. Nine years you were on the elites. Eleven. I'm oh, sorry, all eleven years. <laughs> you were against him. Yeah. I mean, it was like growing up fish playing golf against Tiger, right? Yeah, pretty much. I don't. But know. you know what? Fishing against the best makes you better. Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah, it makes you better. Or it makes you quit. It one or the other. Does you think that one will help? Yeah, pick him on the scale. We need a. I think a 206 is our little guy. 206. 206? Yeah, I think so. Because I called the wrong one earlier. Okay. <laughs> I'll drop that on there. Where is the scale? Six. Uh, three, I think. Across the top, it goes one, two, three. Four. Okay. Two seven is what it is. All right. You're sitting here, and Kevin Van Dam runs into that pocket over there. What does that do to you? Does that make you think they're probably in here? Oh crap! There goes the vacuum cleaner. Actually, I think it gives me more confidence in the area that I'm in. Yeah. If I'm if I'm looking at some of these same things, whether it's day one or day three of practice, it makes me think, yeah, we're looking at the same stuff, and that's that's just another vote of confidence for you know gives me a little bit more confidence in that I'm on on the right track. I think we said this earlier that it's just a, oh wow they're chasing bait over there. He can't actually do anything to prevent me from 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 scoring or catching fish so all i gotta do is go out and, and handle my business and try not to think about what the other guys are doing so i'm sure now on a flw tour if you're fishing in an area and matt reed pulls up you think oh crap i'm in the wrong area <laughs> 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 the beauty is matt reed will never see this so we can say whatever we want to oh there he goes boy they must be right behind the boat that last one when 20 feet of line up if I hadn't lost that one a minute ago, I'd already say we need to leave, but truth be told, it's so much fun to catch fish. It really is. So I've got an exercise for you. What's that? Put it next to the bathroom, next, next to the group where you do, you know, spend your quality time. Put a black mark slot. And go through Bass Pro Shop catalog and put a check mark on every page that you own of someone else. <laughs> I did it once. Like did you really? 75 pages. Oh. It's not that hard when you start going no. through it. It's like, yeah. oh, I've got that. Yeah, I got that. Oh, one yeah. Those. Especially when you're rolling through the fish in the park. Oh, you're just, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, completely. And then the marine. Yep, yep. And then Every, the clothing. Everything Perco, you've got one of every one of those on your boat, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Strike King, Strike King, Strike King, Strike King. Got all those. Got all those. All the lures. What's frustrating is when you have five things on one page. It's God. It's only one second. All right. Speaking of busting. Yeah. I'm going to bust you on your own YouTube channel. What's that? Ready? Yeah, what? Where are you from? California. Do you believe in Bigfoot? <laughs> Come on, man. Tell me the truth. <laughs> oh. Nobody in this boat's going to think any less of you. They may, but nobody in this boat's going to think any less of you. 
Bill comment. Come on, tell me the truth. You know I think there's a Bigfoot roaming around out there. In California? I think that's probably one of the better chances there are. I mean, there's places in California nobody goes to. I mean, there's some up in the Pacific Northwest. Yes, there's a lot of, a lot of acreage that's void of everything. Except? Trees. And? Mountains. <laughs> do, you, do you think there is some chance there's a Bigfoot roaming around in North America? I think it's just as... Here, I'll, I'll go this way. I think it's just as silly for me to say there's absolutely no way as it is for people to say there absolutely is. God, that is such a non-answer. <laughs> Are you going to go into politics? Is that what you're angling for here? Look at them busting over there. Look at them. Look at them. Look at that! You oh, can see yeah. him. That doesn't look like very big no, shad, though. Little guys. Yeah. You got one? Nah, I so you're Shit. really not going to admit that you're at Shit. night. You put on a headlamp and go sit looking for Bigfoot. Shit. I, that I, I can I honestly say I've never done. Fan that. Texas, <laughs> Bigfoot capital of Texas. Is that what you're trying to say? Put it on the map, man. <laughs> He's, he actually, most people have deer feeders in their yard. He's got a Bigfoot feeder. It throws beef jerky. You're not supposed to tell anybody that stuff. I was confiding in you. You, aren't even, you don't even drink, and I still got stuff out of you last night. He was tired. <laughs> oh, man. Put a comment below on James's videos. Tell him there really is Bigfoot. Give him your sightings. Tell him where you've seen them. Walmart's across the country. There's Bigfoot everywhere. I mean, you'll see them. They... I, I've seen those little uh, sheet metal cutouts standing in people's yards before. That would be in my yard, baby. There's a Bigfoot cutout in my yard. So the, there's a female police officer in Zavala. And so y'all don't know this, or some of you do. I've got a, a Bigfoot cutout in my front yard with a solar-powered light on it. So at night, it lights it up. And she said, I can't tell you how many times I've driven by your place at four in the morning and thought, somebody's in his yard. <laughs> and then realized it's the Bigfoot cutout out there in the yard. I'm here at Ken Smith Fishing World Headquarters, Zavala, Texas, with no one other than Ken Smith. Absolutely. We got we got out today and we fished a Outlaw Outdoors, what's it called? A Blue Santa. Yeah. 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 And uh, had a blast. Good. We we did what I what I would call alphabet fishing, huh? Which is we caught them on C rig. We caught them on an A rig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. We did. But uh, Ken invited me down to come fish a tournament with him and just have some you know, just hang out and it's been a blast and I, I'm so appreciative that he would have me out there or how, out here to the world headquarters. We have all man. I'm glad you came down. No, thank you. Yeah. 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 And um, got an education on structure fishing today. Yes, so uh, I'm glad you brought that up. So you're being awarded one of the first ever masters in structure fishing from Sam Rayburn University here in Zavala, Texas. Wear it proudly. You wouldn't admit to being a Bigfoot fan today, but I believe you are. And to send home for Daniel. Daniel, because you're younger, earn this, son. It's a bachelor's in brush pile fishing. So hopefully he is a good brush pile fisherman and he'll earn that degree. He'll definitely work on in it. In the near future, yeah. yeah. I, so I guess I'm an honorary member then. You absolutely are. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, I may have a professor made up for you. So I don't know that I can spell Niggermeyer, but I'll do my best. There's a lot of G's in there. <laughs> there so, are a lot yeah. of G's in there. A lot of vowels. Like 10 letters or something like that in there. But yeah, it's crazy. But man, Ken, I've really enjoyed this. Me Thank too. you for having me out. I uh, always love to come out to Sam Raper, and I think my son's going to be pretty upset that I didn't ask him to come down with uh, with me. He's welcome to come next time. Okay, so we'll definitely have to make another trip of it. Maybe you'll come up to Lake Fork sometime. I'd love to come up to Fork Fish. It's been years since I've been on Fork. I'd love to come up there. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. I'd love to have you. A lot closer than this is to the house. So. Yeah. 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 That's, so that'd be good. But yeah, we had a great time. Uh, caught a bunch of fish. Bunch of fish. Bunch of fish, and we, I think the ones we really needed, they didn't make it to the boat, but We did not regardless. execute well. No, but at any rate, we had fun. We did, yeah, 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 that's all it's about. Well, Ken, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Sure enjoyed it. Me too. All right.